What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So the iOS 13 Beta 1 has been released by Apple just two days ago and the jailbreak community is already on fire. Danny, a security researcher who is interested in iOS, has posted just a few hours ago, quote, got arbitrary command execution with root privileges on iOS 13 Beta 1. Now this is actually huge news and I do consider them huge news without any trace of exaggeration. And this is because, you know, iOS 13 is is actually Apple's next big thing. They are working on it. It's the first beta. It had the WWDC event. You know, all that hype, all that presentation on the scene is beautiful. It's more performant. It has new features and all that jazz. So you probably are damn sure they will do their best to make sure it's secure and it cannot be jailbroken as fast as possible. And then you have people like Danny in here who just got the IPSW probably from the developer portal. He installed it and he decided mm, maybe I should probably find find an arbitrary command execution with root privileges on iOS 13 beta 1. Because why the heck not? And find he did. And as you can see in here, he did find something very good. Now while this is not a complete jailbreak, and we cannot call it a complete jailbreak by any stretch of imagination, this is actually very important and very powerful. And it goes to show that the rumors that iOS 13 will be completely unjailbreakable are totally bogus and they should not be taken seriously as always. So, you probably know that Danny also published some vulnerabilities he found for iOS 12.2, 12.1.2, 12.1.3, 12.1.4, and so on. So if you did not jump the gun and you're not running iOS 13 beta 1 and you're still waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 12.2, 12.1.4, and so on, then do not worry, there are vulnerabilities posted by the same Danny in here for you as well. If you remember, it's the Project Lockdown Playground in here, and it's actually quite, quite good. I talked about this in many of my videos, and the reason I keep on mentioning it is that it's actually the best thing we have for the moment in terms of vulnerabilities that are released for the iOS 12.2 and lower and this is actually very powerful. I did play with it, I'm gonna be honest with you, and it's actually quite good. I have no doubts that this will help other security researchers to find more vulnerabilities that can possibly use in a new jailbreak or that this might as well be included in a jailbreak or at least parts of it because it's actually quite good. But for the moment iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3 are the only versions signed. So avoid this as much as possible because the vulnerabilities that we do have released are only for iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 and 12.1.3. And although iOS 12.3 and 12.3.1 have been confirmed to be exploitable with TFP0 by Proteus, we are yet to see any release from Proteus, so for the moment avoid this version. Stay on iOS 12.2, 12.1.4 or 12.1.3 if you're interested in a future jailbreak. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you because, you know, getting arbitrary code execution with root privileges on iOS 13 beta 1, the next big thing for Apple is actually quite impressive. It goes to show that the jailbreak community can still thrive and is actually very good to see because this means that the iOS 13 may not be as dangerous for the jailbreak community as it was rumored initially. Now I know that iOS 13 drops support for many of the legacy devices like the iPhone 6, the iPod Touch 6th generation, the iPhone 5s, which were actually easier to jailbreak, but at the same time our security researchers develop more smarter techniques in order to find more vulnerabilities in Apple software, so I do not believe the jailbreak will ever die. So yeah, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm Gio Snow, and till the next time, peace out.